what is good everybody welcome back to another episode brought to you by the league ffb it's week 13 of the fantasy football season crunch time only two weeks until those fantasy football playoffs we got a waiver wire video for you guys today going to talk about my top 10 pickups some running back stashes that you should be holding through the playoffs and some double check players so without wasting any more time let's hop right into today's video and let's start talking about these waiver wire pickups All right, so before we get into my top 10 guys, I want to talk about those double check players. These players are all rostered in over 50% of leagues right now, so there is a chance that they're available on your waiver wire. I think you should just double check. It's Cedric Tillman, Sam Darnold, Geno Smith, Quinton Johnston, Jake Ferguson, Jonathan Brooks, Taysom Hill, Jalen Warren, Christian Watson, Keon Coleman, Matthew Stafford, Caleb Williams, and Kirk Cousins. All of these players I've seen being floated about on airwaves this week, possible pickups. They're all rostered in over 50% of leagues, so it's probably not super likely that they're available but if they are available make sure you double check and you can go pick these guys up but now that we got the double check guys out of the way i want to talk about my number one pickup of the week and it is going to be gus edwards of the los angeles chargers now look gus edwards we've talked about him on this channel for a couple of weeks now as a potential pickup for a running back handcuff stash and unfortunately for jk dobbins owners that has probably paid off now because jk dobbins just suffered a knee injury in monday night football we don't know the severity of it yet it could be very well just nothing that is that important but gus edwards he is one of the top pickups for me this week probably my number one pickup this week because if jk dobbins misses a week a couple of weeks gus edwards would see the majority of the workload here in this backfield you can also throw in kamani vidal kamani vidal is kind of like an honorable mention in this deal but i do think gus edwards is the primary pickup his upcoming schedule isn't great he gets atlanta this upcoming week and then he gets the kansas city chiefs right after that so those are two top 10 defenses against running back so far this year we'll see how that pans out but the volume is going to be there the goal line carries are going to be there this is a greg roman offense that wants to run the football so Gus Edwards he has been a handcuff he might be a starter in the upcoming week if we see some more news about JK Dobbins potentially missing time so let's move on to my next guy I want to talk about my number two pickup it is going to be Jeremy McNichols and Jeremy McNichols is rostered in zero percent of leagues so he is going to be widely widely available probably available in almost every single league that you play in I think we should be picking him up this week because Austin Eckler suffered a concussion in this game it is very likely that he misses this upcoming week players who do suffer concussions they do tend to miss at least one game in in the nfl in 2024 so jeremy mcnichols he's a guy who's going to have at least the austin eckler role in this upcoming week you also have to account for the fact that brian robinson jr got his ankle rolled up on in the first play of the game here this week he did come back into the game and play but he is a little bit banged up we're gonna see what happens jeremy mcnichols might be in line for a lot of work here in week 13 and if he is he's a guy that i think we can play as a low-end rb2 maybe a high-end rb3 type of play if brian robinson is out for whatever reason that would kind of be surprising to me but if he is out I think McNichols would push himself all the way up into that high end RB2 type of range in this upcoming matchup here this week against the Tennessee Titans. Another thing to keep in mind is the Washington Commanders. They do have a bye week there in week 14, so they could opt to rest Brian Robinson Jr. and obviously Austin Eckler probably not clearing the protocol. So when you start kind of putting the pieces to the puzzle together, you do realize that Jeremy McNichols probably has a pretty solid chance of being the starting running back this week. So let's move on to my next guy. I want to go to the quarterback position. I'm going to talk about Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson rostered in about 44% of leagues, but he's a quarterback that I think we can pick up and stream he has two good matchups here over the next couple weeks he gets the Cincinnati Bengals who are currently 26th against the quarterback position this year and then he gets the Cleveland Browns who are 25th against the quarterback position this year he's coming off that Thursday night game where we had that big snowstorm he still went for 270 and a touchdown in that game finishing with almost 14 PPR points it's not the greatest of game obviously the weather played a role in there but I think Russell Wilson is an instant quarterback that we can plug in and play if we need some play here in the next couple of weeks from our quarterbacks because there are some week 14 buys yes cj stroud you have Jaden daniels you have a couple of these other big name quarterbacks that are going to be on by in week 14 russell wilson you can pick him up stream him this week and the following week if you need him and he should be able to get you some decent quarterback play heading into the fantasy football playoffs now going on to my next player i am going to talk about adam thielen we talked about him on last week's episode i said he was a priority pickup for me at the wide receiver position came in this last week three for four 57 yards 8.7 pbr points he did get a penalty in the end zone where he dropped a touchdown pass probably would have been a bigger day if he comes down with that one obviously but rostered still in only 44 percent of leagues bryce young is playing some decent football right now adam thielen looks like a big part of this offense and we knew he would be a big part of this offense he gets a good matchup this week against tampa bay who's currently giving up 30 fantasy points per game to opposing wide receivers that's 27th in the nfl i think if you have adam thielen on your waiver wire he's a guy that you can pick up and play in your flex spot 
almost guaranteed this week and then i would be saying that adam thielen also has some end of season value for us as well philly the next week then he has dallas which is a pretty decent matchup there in week 15 the first week of your fantasy football playoffs so adam thielen he's a wide receiver that i'd be picking up and i think that he's in flex consideration at least for the rest of the year the way that bryce young's playing some football right now now the exact same thing can kind of be said for his teammate here xavier leggett he went four for six for 56 yards in this last week's game rostered in about 47 percent of leagues as well so he is still underneath that 50 percent threshold if you're looking for the same type of thing good matchup this week a good matchup in the first week of the playoffs week 15 Leggett kind of profiles as that as well I think the only difference for me and the reason why I have Adam Thielen above Leggett in my rankings is because of the PPR ability for Adam Thielen I think Adam Thielen is more PPR friendly Leggett's a little bit more boom bust a big play here maybe a touchdown there I think this is the type of guy that you have those boom weeks from it's just going to be harder to project them I think Adam Thielen has a safer floor so if you are looking for the floor play Adam Thielen's your guy if you're looking for the ceiling play Leggett's your guy but either way both of these Carolina Panthers receivers need to be picked up and probably even played here in this upcoming week now going back to the quarterback position and looking at another streaming option here this week I think Drake May is a decent streaming option he went 222 and a touchdown in last week's game he didn't get as many rushing yards as he typically does he only ran for 26 rushing yards but this is a guy who uses his legs he has a big arm and he has a good matchup this week you get Indianapolis who's currently ranked 23rd against the quarterback position if you're looking for QB play maybe because of an injury or something like that I do think that Drake May is a guy that you can pick up and play this week there are no buys this week so it does have to be an injury for you to fill in but obviously you can still play Drake May if you need him he's a guy that I'd be picking up and probably holding on to when you look at the rest of the season schedule though it's not great he has a bye week in week 14 Arizona in week 15 which is the first week of the fantasy football playoffs they've been a top 12 defense against quarterbacks this year and then it gets Buffalo in the second week of the playoffs which is a top eight team against quarterbacks this year so really if you're not playing Drake May this week he's probably not valuable for you at all the rest of the year so I do think that you should probably just pick him up if you need him this week only stream him and then drop him next week for somebody else on the waiver wire now moving on to another rookie I think we should be picking up it's going to be Devon Vele Devon Vele of the Denver Broncos is currently rostered in 13 percent of leagues so he is widely available coming off of a week here where he had six receptions on nine targets for 80 yards and even without the touchdown he was a top 24 wide receiver on the week for us this week that is the second time in his last three games that he's done this he started to work his way into that number two role there in Denver he'd be a guy that I'd be picking up and stashing on the end of my bench over the next coming weeks you got a good matchup this week against Cleveland they are ranked 29th against the wide receiver position right now a bye week in week 14 and then week 15 a decent matchup against Indianapolis so he does have some good games on the schedule upcoming over the next couple of weeks he does have a week 14 bye so that is something to consider but Devon Vele he's a guy that is definitely worth picking up on the waiver wire here this week now going on to another wide receiver we should be picking up this is going to be due to injury Dontavion Wicks I know you hear the name and you say hey he disappointed us earlier in the year when we hyped him he's a guy that's going to be talked about on the waiver wire again this week and I think you can pick him up and play him if you need to Romeo Dobbs suffered a concussion in this game I don't think he's going to be able to play it's going to be very very hard for him to clear protocol by Thursday when the Packers play on Thanksgiving Day so Wicks he will be in the starting lineup he has been operating as that number four wide receiver obviously behind Christian Watson Jaden Reed and Romeo Dobbs he's going to slot in in three wide receiver sets now so Wicks you can probably pick him up and play him he's going to be a risky boom bust type of option they do play the Miami Dolphins there is going to be a high projected game total in that game so probably lots of points to go around but Miami has been pretty damn good against the wide receiver position so far this year so there is some risk in playing him that considered if you're looking for some starting options to plug into your lineups on high scoring offenses it doesn't get much better than Dontavion Wicks with the Green Bay Packers so he is in consideration for pickup and play type of candidates if you're looking to stream a wide receiver in your fantasy football leagues here this week now moving on to another wide receiver that should benefit from injury we are going to talk about Alec Pierce Josh Downs got injured in this game on Sunday so it is very unlikely that he plays here in Sunday's game against the New England Patriots at least that's what I'm hearing at the moment Alec Pierce last week against Detroit he went one for four for 39 yards he had a big play obviously the play with Anthony Richardson it is inconsistent at times he's looked better since he came back from the benching and Alec Pierce does operate as the deep threat but with Josh Downs out of the lineup they are going to rely on those deep balls a little bit more they are going to rely on some of these other options just a little bit more he gets a matchup this week against New England they are currently ranked 24th against the wide receiver position so it should be a little bit of an easier matchup for Anthony Richardson and Alec Pierce if you're looking for a boom bust option Pierce is definitely a boom bust option and he is a guy that can score 20 points if he gets a long touchdown that is capable in this offense we've seen it before we've seen it even 
this year. With Josh Downs out of the lineup, a lot of these guys should get a little bit more targets. And even keep in mind, Michael Pittman Jr. got banged up in this game as well. He's also been dealing with that back injury for the majority of the year. There could be a very decent chance that he is not 100% in this upcoming game. So Alec Pierce and Adonai Mitchell would probably benefit from that. So that takes me on to my next guy, and it is going to be Adonai Mitchell. Again, the things that we said for Alec Pierce can be said for Adonai Mitchell. Adonai Mitchell, a rookie, he has some upside. He went one for three for 10 yards in this last week's game. We haven't seen him overtake Alec Pierce necessarily in this offense yet. We haven't seen the year that we've wanted out of Adonai Mitchell yet, but I do believe that he is a more talented player than Alec Pierce. It's just a matter of getting onto the football field and showing it. Adonai Mitchell, you can pick him up if you want to, a speculative ad. See what he does here with Josh Downs out of the lineup because it could potentially be a multi-week injury for Josh Downs. We don't know for certain, but the way that the Colts season has been going with a week 14 bye, I'm not saying they're going to shut him down for the year, but you see the scenario where he doesn't play week 13, week 14, he gets some rest, and then we kind of can see what happens after that. But Adonai Mitchell, Alec Pierce, both of those Colts wide receivers probably need to be picked up this week, even if you're not considering playing them. And now I wanted to give you guys some running back stashes. I've been trying to give you guys stashes every week, and rather than making them parts of the top 10 players, I figured I'd just give you a whole list. We're going into the fantasy football playoffs now. All of these running back handcuffs need to be picked up, and all of these running back handcuffs are available in over. 50% of leagues. So there is a good chance that you can pick up at least some of these guys. Those guys for me are going to be Zach Charbonnet, Devin Singletary, Tank Bigsby, Tajay Spears, Jordan Mason, Tyler Algier, Roshan Johnson, Trey Benson, Justice Hill, Braylon Allen, Blake Corum, Ray Davis, and Kenny gain well so make sure if those guys are available you have the roster space you go pick up and stash these running backs because these are high value high-end handcuffs that if there was an injury in the next couple of weeks some of these guys could be potential league winners for you in the fantasy football playoffs i think i'd even consider stashing these guys over some of the guys that we talked about today like dontavion wicks alec pierce adonai mitchell even devon vele drake may I'd probably pick up and stash some of these guys over those if you don't have the need here this week to stream those types of players. But I just wanted to emphasize that these stashes are very important for us as we head into the fantasy football playoffs. But there you have it, folks. Those are my top 10 waiver wire pickups as we head into week 13. Some running back stashes that you should be prioritizing and some double check players. So if you did like today's video, you found something in here informative or actionable, please go ahead and hit that like button. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss any of the future content. Also, last but not least, go join the free Discord. There is a free Discord linked in the description. I'm in there helping you guys with your fantasy football teams 24-7, 365, trying to help you guys win a fantasy football championship, and that will come in clutch in the fantasy football playoffs. So like I said, it's free to join that Discord. Make sure you go enter that. But with all of that being said, I have nothing else for you today, so I will see you on our next episode. But until then, peace out.